Hey guys, so in the last few days, we've gotten a lot of questions and also emails from our community in terms of how you document your evidences for the Global Talent Visa. Uh, and many people don't even know if they qualify, you know, for the visa or not. So in this video, I'll be giving you a guided walkthrough of how you can do this yourself. Yeah, and I'm going to be showing you the technician guide on some tips on how to get this done. Now, before I do that, I would just like to explain something to you very briefly. So the technician guide, there are two criteria that are listed there. There's what we call the MC, which is the mandatory criteria. That's what we call the OC, which is the optional criteria. Now you need to meet this mandatory criteria before you go to the optional criteria. And under each of these criteria, they actually put some examples there of things you need to get as evidences, add evidences for you to prove that you meet that mandatory criteria. Let me give an example to that. For you to show that you're a leading talent or you are recognized as a leading talent in the technology sector, one of the evidences that you can show as an example on the technician guide is like you have high salary. Now, how do you prove that as an example? It could be your pay slip, it could be your salary entering your account, it could be your offer letter, letter from your HR to show that this is how much you earn. Why? Because if you earn good salary today, it means that to a very large extent, you are recognized as a top talent in the industry. And that's the way you do it. And what you can also do extra is that you can also go online to check average salary of people that work in your kind of sector, in your kind of role, and compare that to your role to show that you really earn a lot of salary today which is high salary that's one of the evidences that you can use you know for that so you can easily go to each of these criteria one by one and look at example of the evidence that they want you to have yeah and if you can get them it's fine if you can't get them then unfortunately you don't meet the criteria at the end of this video i'm going to explain to you if you don't meet them what do you do so when you watch this video to the end i will be explaining that to you so right now let's go straight into the real do it yourself session okay so let's go right now pick up your phone yeah or your laptop and let us go into this so you go to google just type technician guide yeah so this definitely will come out yes yeah, so what you do is that you can just click uh the global talent visa so when you click that come down here and click read the guidance so when you read the guidance this is the page that you need to read everything you need to know about the technician visa now let's go to specifically the path that we're talking about here so now for example if you want to know some kind of roles that they expect you to have to qualify for the technician visa this is a sample of those roles so there are two roles technical roles are here then you can come here this is where you can see business skills roles so there are technical roles you can have there are business roles that you can have so this is are the roles that you have it's not exhaustive but you can work around this role so let's go to the part of uh the documentation what is the criteria so let's go there let's scroll down let's scroll down please look at where i'm going to here now you see an heading called document checklist yeah still come down still come down still come down you could see you need to have 10 evidences you can see that here you need to have 10 evidences so let's move on on that Let's go down. Let's go down. You'll see the where I'm going to exactly. Thank you. This is the place I'm going to. Now, because you need to have 10 evidences, the evidences need to match the criteria. Because when you're uploading online, you're going to be uploading your evidence versus the criteria in which you have the evidence for. So look at this, for example. This is number one. This is mandatory criteria. We call it MC. So this is mandatory criteria. The question you want to ask yourself is that, do you meet this mandatory criteria don't go to ask anybody come to the technician guide let's read this for example this is how do i read this how do i demonstrate that i have been recognized as or recognized as having the potential to be a leading talent in digital technology sector in the last five years now what this part is saying is that you need to be recognized yeah as a leading talent in digital technology in the last five years this is what this criteria is talking about now let's go further now what are the evidences you need to have to prove this you just need one of these evidence to prove that for example you let the growth of a product-led digital technology complain yeah and you have the evidence for this if you have evidence for this for example you can see maybe newspaper clipping you can see that here as an example in terms of what you've done then you can 
clip that has from that newspaper that becomes your evidence for the mandatory criteria let's let's go let's go down here for example uh this one says for example you led the growth of a non-profit organization or social enterprise with a specific focus on the digital technology sector as evidenced by reference letters from leading you could see this one now or as evidenced by newspaper clipping or similar evidence do you have any evidence for this as an example if you have put them on an a4 paper you need three pages of those evidences if you have many of these together they are related put them together on three pages it means you meet this criteria right that's what it means it means you meet that criteria that is all about that now let's go to other one you can see there are many of them for example let me give you an example here you command high salary yeah or then for example let me give an example of somebody who is in nigeria let's assume that you are a software developer and you earn like three million naira per month. Just try to make a case for that. I don't think I don't I don't say you have to earn three million naira. Now what you do here is that you get your payroll, you put your offer letter, you put them together to show that you earn two million naira per month as an example. Then you go online maybe to Glassdoor to job sites and show example of salaries of software developers. Maybe salary today in address like 600k 700k 100k you can now say that i earn two million naira today so i command high salary compared to the industry average so you can now use that to prove that you have high salary now if you have this as an example this is a full evidence for you to meet this criteria that that says that you have been recognized of being a leading talent in the industry now if you have three pages of this for example the one for the salary your pay slip Data from your HR to show that you earn that salary, your maybe your bank account where the salary drops. If you put this together in three pages, it means you have one full evidence on this particular part. That is all about what is expected from you. Now, if you do this one, that is mandatory criteria. Yeah, you can now speak any one of them. Now, if you have evidence for this, you have evidence for this, you can separate them together, like separate evidences. So you can actually have three evidences. For a particular criteria and make them like three separate evidences because you have for example the one for salary is separate the one for the media is separate that means you have two evidences on mandatory criteria already then you can just go ahead again to the optional criteria for example you could see this one number one optional criteria we call it oc yeah means how do i demonstrate that i have a proven track record or examples of innovation you could see if you go down these are some of the evidence that's expected from you I want to recommend to you strongly, do not go beyond some of this example of evidences that they ask for. You might have others that are related to that, but I prefer that you have the one that they listed here, which makes it very much easy for you. Then you can go to the option two, optional criteria two, and see this one. They want you to meet this criteria as an example. Then do you have evidence for that? That is how you go about this. How this really makes sense, yeah? So again, go to that technician guide, and go to the part of the evidences and ask yourself do you meet those evidences or not if you don't meet them you don't have record to prove them at all then most likely you don't qualify for this yeah so let's go on with that thank you now you could see that it is easy peasy for you to know today if you meet the requirement or not and also if you meet the requirement you already know now how to document your evidences what I want you to do right now is that you might feel sad that you don't meet any other requirement or you don't meet some of the requirements. What I want you to do is that you can now begin to plan yourself towards that. Yeah. And I've done that for several people today. Yeah. Some people don't meet the criteria. Then I support them, give them a roadmap on what they need to do in the next three to six months on how to meet those criteria. And you can do that for yourself. That really makes sense. Now, however, if this same look overwhelming for you and you need the support, you know, from anybody for us to support you, a paid session to support you, to guide you through this whole process, you can reach out to us through UK tier one visa at peoplearm.io and we will be there to support you. Yeah, reach out to us by email and we can book a session with you. And if you have not been part of our community, you are missing out a lot. Yeah. Click the link below to join our thriving global talent visa community where you learn from other people like you who are trying to put their process together. That really makes sense, right? So, guys, thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Bye.